Hi everyone, Gemma here, thanks for watching today. This video is part of my 12 Days of Christmas series and I'm going to be making a 3D envelope. So let me show you what it looks like. This is the final result. So I've wrapped the envelope with some ribbon and added a wooden letter there as decoration. It's held closed by a Velcro fastening and you open it as so. You've got these two pockets here. Each pocket contains a chocolate bar. So this is the 110 gram bar and it just slots nicely in that pocket. It has got a little bit of room actually. And then you close it back up as so. To make the outside of the envelope, you need a piece of 12 by six and three quarters. Along the 12 inch side, you're gonna score at four, five, nine, and 10. To make the inside pocket, you need two pieces of eight and three quarters by four. Along the eight and three quarter side, you're going to score at half, one, seven and three quarters and eight and a quarter. Rotate and score at half and one. To decorate the outside of your wallet, you need two pieces of six and a half by three and three quarters. One piece of a six and a half by one and three quarters and two pieces of six and a half by three quarters of an inch. Using the same pattern paper, I'm decorating the inside pockets with two pieces of six and a half by two and three quarters. And then for the rest of the inside of the wallet, I want two pieces of six and a half by three and three quarters. So I've cut those in white cardstock and embossed them. You'll also want one piece of six and a half by one and three quarters and two pieces of six and a half by three quarters of an inch. Next, I'm going to fold and burnish all my score lines. These are all mountain folds forms the outside of the wallet and it'll roll up like so. So I've also gone ahead and fold and burnished all these score lines on the pocket pieces. So we're going to do a little bit of cutting next. So with your two half inch score lines here at the bottom, you want to start over on the left hand side and you want to cut up from the first score line to the second score line. So you have this piece here. You want to do the same then for the next score line. Then we're going to remove these two pieces completely. So take that away. And we're also going to take away this little square here. So then you should be left with this shape. We're just gonna take some wedges off here as these are our tab pieces. And off this bottom piece only on this side. So then you're left with something that looks like this. And we're going to do exactly the same on the opposite side. So we're gonna cut this first score line here, cut straight up past the first score line to the second, same then on the next score line. Remove these two outer squares and this bottom square here. Okay, 
and then we're going to take the wedges okay so you're left with a piece that looks like that so I've prepared my other pocket and we'll start to assemble them now so I'm taking my quick grab glue I'm going to start the assembly so what you want to do is fold over this section here in this tab and we're going to create the pocket piece so hopefully you can see what I'm doing just add in a little bit of glue on this tab here bringing it up and squaring it off on that corner there so I'm just holding it in place for a couple of seconds just so that you can grab do exactly the same on the opposite side And then we're left with these three tabs here so you could add a little bit of glue on the back here which I'm going to do and then just tack that in place so I've gone ahead and I've added glal glue all along these three tabs here ready to attach to the inside of our wallet I'm just going to flip that over so I have the open edge facing the left hand side. I'm going to place this down so it marries up to this first score line. I'm going to form the pocket in exactly the same way and then I'll marry it up to the next score line here. So we've got an inch gap between the two and it'll hold them nicely together as so. So I've attached my two pockets and the open ends are here so you've got one here to the left and one here to the right and then when you fold it up both the pockets will sit in this one one inch gap here and then close like so so I'll start with the inside decoration so we've got the two pattern pieces to go there A three quarters of an inch piece to go there and there then the larger pieces will tuck inside the pocket here and there and then lastly that piece goes there so I'm just going to get everything attached and I'll come back to you when it's all glued down so there's the inside of my wallet all decorated I really like this embossing folder I think it gives like the effect of snow it's really pretty I'll just bring it in to show you what it is so I'm using the Mater Surprise Ditsy embossing folder there and this is an 8x8 embossing folder so it's a really versatile one and the papers that I'm using are from Art Studio it's called Gonk Crafting so I think I got this from the range like back last year so I'm trying to use up all my Christmas papers if I can. So now that the inside is decorated and I use the Kalal glue to stick it all down to give it that extra strength, I'm going to decorate the front. So I'll just bring in the rest of my pattern papers. So I have this piece to go here, this piece to go there, then this to go on the top and I'm going to flip it over and be mindful of the direction of the pattern paper so I want that one to go that way and then I've got a piece then for the bottom so I'll get that stuck down and I'll come back to you so I've decorated the outside of the wallet as so and I've gone all the way around with the pattern paper 
I think it looks really nice. I, I like this pattern paper. The the gnomes are really cute. And I like the mixture of the pink, red and grey. It's really sweet images. So I've used Kalal glue to attach everything. And it does need a little bit of time to dry and set. So I'm going to set that as aside and finish the rest of the decoration off camera. So I'll just bring in the one that I've prepared off camera. So I've added, as you can see there, one, two, three hooks on the top and then the three loops. So I like to give it time to set before adding this because sometimes if it's not fully dry, it can um, take away the cardstock. So I just want to allow that enough time to dry before adding those. And this is what I've used, the pair of hook and loops and the 10 millimeters. And I think I've got them from Amazon. So I'll just decorate it, this one on camera with you. So I've cut myself some ribbon. I'm just gonna tie it off towards the top here. So I've just added the bow. I've got a wooden letter here. Just gonna attach that with some hot glue. Pop that on my bow there. So there are my three wallets. As I said, I'll finish decorating the last one off camera and I'll be using this white ribbon and this letter C and I've coloured it in pink using my alcohol markers. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, you might want to give me a thumbs up, comment or consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed to the channel, you may want to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future tutorials. As I said, this is part of my 12 days of Christmas series. So I hope you'll join me in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.